Hi guys, so this morning I have a sponsored video for you from Tonic Studios. They did send these items free of charge for my review and all paintings are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I will make a small commission if you were to purchase items through those links. So today we have the Designer's Choice 14, which is the exquisite sensor gift box. Super adorable, just launched it just now. So uh, again, the links will be there for you guys. So let's check this out. Um, I had taken a little peek at it and what's really cute is that it's basically a gift box as you can see. So what I like about the designer's choice is that it is something that will always fit on a carrier sheet about this size. Um, I can measure it for you real quickly so that gives you an idea of um, how it would work in whatever uh, die cutting machine you might have. But we are at about eight and a half by five and a half okay so that's the uh space on the carrier but the uh, die itself is um about seven and three quarters um uh, by about five inches wide okay and so today's like i said is the sensor um gift box and there are tons of dies on this <laughs> carrier i was just that's what i was kind of struck by when i looked at it there look at all these different things that you can inlay you don't have to you can just cut the box you know the plain box there you have all these other cute little pieces that you can fit in to make it look even more adorable uh, mixing and matching those things this one has the panel here or you can just use the inlay you can use the inlay just into the um box itself or cut it out from its uh, piece and then layer it on same thing with this inner part of the box the main part here we have this gorgeous set of inlays here so we have one two three different dies in there on this one here we have the inlay and then we have the outer so you can cut again um, like a frame or just into the uh, box itself we have uh, some word dies and of course I'm always the worst at reading those so I'll look at that later when I, I'll trim it out just to see what it is that it says um, and then we have the um, die to cut that out we have the word enjoy i can see that how cute is this with the little heart and then we have for you um, a cute little inlay another little flower you can use however you like um, of course this also has a sentiment there i can see the word uh, you but we will cut those out just so we can see them very clearly and then we have more kind of flowers you can either cut out you know so it has that inlay feel or um just cut it out and add it to your box or however it is that you want to use them. So lots of cute little extras there. Um, so with the designer's choice, it is not a monthly uh, subscription. Rather, you can pick it up whenever you feel like once it's um, available. A lot of times they do sell out very quickly. So I'll always give that a heads up because um, it happens and you guys know that. So uh, you can check it out. Uh, I believe in the U.S. it's $19.99 with a reduced shipping of uh, $2. But of course, the link will be there. You can uh, get all that information uh, there. And so what I'm going to do is just grab some papers and we'll, uh, you know, do the basic construction of the box and add some um, extra gorgeous goodies here and see what we can come up with. Okay, guys, so looking through my stash, um, I should probably go back and say what a sensor is. Have you ever seen one? It's like a um, incense holder or incense burner and it's more the type that you would use like at a Catholic mass or something like that where it's like decorative and usually metal like metallic colors, you know, or materials. So I thought it'd be really fun to kind of um, mirror that or at least play off of that a little bit. So I looked in my stash and I have this rose platinum that I think would be really, really pretty to use. I have um, some gold, um, mirror gold and polished gold. I have a matte metallic in the um, silver color. And then I came across this one too and I was like, oh, that would be really pretty because a lot of times they're very decorative. And so this has all these inlays we're gonna use anyway, but maybe for the base card, I'll do this. So this is the brown craft card in rose gold blossom. So pretty. So I think that's what I'll do. So I'm gonna use this one here for the very base of our um, gift box. And so on both of them, what I'm going to do is cut this main piece out. We're going to need two of them. And as you can see, there's lots of other inlays that we can use. Um, but since I want to keep it pretty decorative with these other inlays, what I'm going to do is, so we can show off this background, I'm going to use this, and then we're going to do our inlays. But um, we're going to need two of these. So the first one I'll trim out, or run through my die cutting machine, trim this down, or run this one. And then the second one, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm also going to include this piece okay and again you just secure it with tape I suppose I'll show you that now because I need both of them anyway 
You really don't want that to shift while it's going through your die cutting machine. You want those to double over. And so I'm just gonna pop this out. So we just need these two for our basic box and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I have my two pieces here. Lovely. So um, we're gonna go ahead and fold on all of the score lines and I'm assuming just looking at them, obviously these are gonna go in, <laughs> um, is that this is a very structural piece. It's really, really cute. I can see just by the design here and the way this is etched out. I don't know if you can see that there's like these pieces that um, come across here, really gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do is start folding them how I think. So like this score line will probably go in, right? Because then this is going to pop up. I know it's harder to see on this uh, paper. But again, with this kind of thing, I always, I'm just gentle, folding, folding, folding. You see how that one's out? Because you could imagine that this would be coming forward, right? This part of the box. So everything else needs to go back. And we have some um, seams, I suppose, or <laughs> you want to call it here, the tabs that are going to hold on to the next piece, right? And one other thing we're going to do in preparation, again, back and then forward, um, is remove one of these bits because we only need one clasp area. And I've seen this um, in a different tutorial that um, Tonic had from a different um, die set. So sometimes this is what you're going to do just to work it out here. So I'm going to just come across and trim that off. Okay, because we only need the one clasp. And I'm keeping this one, obviously, the decorative one. So I'm going to continue folding. So if we had this go back, Again, there's this area up here. I'm gonna fold back and forward here. So just follow your score lines. And again, this is gonna pop forward. So hopefully you're kind of seeing now what's going on here. And then this one, we'll just fold it here. So basically the, the, the side panel you know, the front of your box is going to come forward. So that kind of gives you an idea. There you go, like that. So obviously these other pieces have to go backwards, right? So that's what I'm saying. I know this is going to have a very pretty structural look to it. Just from the bends. Look at that. So cool. And I love these little areas that are just kind of popping up here. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Um, just fold it on all the score lines and I'll be right back. Okay. So now if I could spot my red line tape, I would use that, but I cannot find it here. So what I'm going to use, I always love a wet glue on a project like this, um, but to make it quicker so that you guys can see it set up, I'm going to use uh, my Nuvo um, adhesive. Um, again, red line tape is really nice because it's very secure. And then um, I always like just a wet glue because I feel like it, over time it keeps longer. But I've made boxes with all three of these things and they all are doing great. So um, that's up to you. Um, one last thing we are going to... Just give this a bend here too. It might not be as noticeable when we're done putting it together, but you do want to get everything folded. So you see I have really nice crisp folds. So I'm just going to take one side and again, if I was just using white glue, I'd put it just on those little tabs there, but I'm going to use this guy just to set it up faster and get just on the edge as much as I can just to the edge because Obviously it's a wider thing there. And then here we have our pieces and I'm gonna stick this smaller piece together first. Just keeping it nice there. Give it a little burnish on the back. And then these tabs are gonna fit together just perfectly there. And this one, we really wanna get it close together because of this little point here. I know it's harder to see with the pattern, but basically just match it up as well as you can, of course, like any other um, juncture you would make here. Again, I always like to give a good burnish if I can. Look at that. Gorgeous. And that little point there just works out really nicely. And then we're gonna bring it around Bring it around town here, and we're gonna do the same thing. So I can see why they would call this the sensor. It's 
really opulent, really pretty. And then we haven't even put our toppers on this, you know, our inlays and things. So it's going to be really gorgeous. And we have this here. And then this part. And again, I'm starting at the bottom just to eyeball that. Going to get that little point right in there perfectly. Looks good. And I'm just going to really burnish that as well as I can from either side. I'm just going to really push down on the inside of this and on the other side just to make sure they're really well stuck together and I'll be back. Now I've got this gorgeous thing. I just really like to go in there really, really burnish, especially if I'm using a, a dry adhesive like that. So now we can start kind of training it. And this is where I was looking at, I'm like, this is going to be really pretty. Look at this, the way it points up there and we have all this here and then it's going to come over the edge. So pretty with all these little pieces that stick out. Now on the bottom, you see you have these two thinner um, tabs and then our base tab. So I'm always going to turn one of those in because that's how I like to do it. I like to trap these in, inside, but however you want. Now I'm going to squish this really, really well. Hopefully you can kind of see that. that. I'm squishing, squishing, squishing. So I'm training it right now. I'm not trying to stick it down. I'm not putting any glue or anything yet. I just want to see exactly how it needs to be when I'm done. And it's really nice and tight, tucked in there really nice and tight, as you can see. And then this would be doing its thing up here on the top like this. That's kind of why I went ahead and trained this top part to bend in too, just in case. And let's get this guy out here. He's going to stick up. Okay. So what I'm going to do is put some... a good amount of that on that tab. this tab and again they're basically like this and this is going to go in but I'm going to tuck it so as you can see I'm lining this up so it's pushing right against there just to keep it nice and even right that's what I'm looking for and then this guy is going to come in so far as to touch and hopefully stay right in the center you see what I'm doing there pretty much in the center let's move it out a little more this way and then this guy I'm going to do the same thing so now that I have this guy attached I can move this guy over and again I'm looking for that center before I really push it down and there we go and then I'm going to get my move all over this just to have it ready so what's nice about craft paper is that it's very thick so it gives me resistance, but it also makes a nice um, piece, right? So there we go. I'm not going to stick it down quite yet till I push this where I want it. Okay. That looks good on that side. And then this one. There we go. And I'm just going to just take something that helps me kind of stick this down the inside for a minute. Just to give me that resistance. And now I'm going to put it down and really push in. So I'm going to keep massaging this just so it stays nice and stuck and I'll be back. Okay, so I just smashed that down a little bit just to really get it going. If you were using wet glue, you would have to hold it until it's done. But look at how cool that is. Super cool. And then that's it, guys. We're going to squish this in. You know, we're going to train our little box here, as you can see. And you know what? I didn't pop out all the little pieces here. Hold on. <laughs> Let's get those cleared out of the way. A couple small pieces here. And then we're going to just use our little latch here to help us hold it closed. There's a little, sorry, my little one came downstairs. And there we go. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that structure. So cool. And I know you guys will want to know the sizing on that. So let me grab my ruler here. And as tall from, you know, this open, this top portion down to the bottom, it's about five inches. And the width, uh, one of the highest points here is about three and a quarter, maybe three and a half. And the very bottom is just over an inch by two inches. Okay, so we have our 
amazing box here. So what we're going to do is decorate her however it is that we like, as much or as little as you know, all these you know inlays you have. We have little edge ones we can put all around the little edges on the top. Uh, I think I'm going to use the gold and the um, kind of rose gold here because it just looks so pretty. But uh, So I think what I'm going to do is take the, the, these guys. So the gold is going to be the backing. So I'll run it through with just that. And then this one, I'll run it through with this and this and this one because I do think it's very adorable. So again, tape them down very well, run it through. I'm going to do it twice so that I have one for the front and for the back on both of these. And then uh, for this top item, again, I'm going to cut out just the background out of the gold. And then I'll cut out another one just like this. But um, again, two of each, okay? And I haven't decided if I'm going to decorate the edge pieces yet, but I'll come back when I have these front pieces done. Okay, I wanted to show you um, when I cut this out, because I went ahead and did this inlay. Um, it cuts itself out anyway, the edge on that one. So look at how cute. I have this little guy, and then I made a little frame, and then it cut this out because of the way I popped that in there. So if you don't want to pop that in there, this extra piece here, you're just going to have um, this cut out, this whole section, right? But since I popped it in there, I made like this little frame. I'm not going to use that, but I think what I'm going to do is keep it just like that. So I'll still have the little separation. The gold will be showing through. I think that's really cute. So let me put that to the side. I already cleaned out some of these other ones. So what we're going to do is just, you know, how I do. I put the glue on the back of my hands. Black my hand in the back of my hand here. Just making sure I have everything cleared out here. And then um, really, really ornate, really opulent here. And then I'll glue it onto um, my base piece. Same thing with these guys. So whenever I have a nice edge, I'll just take it to this. But then I like to get those smaller areas by just putting glue on the back of my hand. And bring this over. Getting that glue on the back of there. And this is going to be edge to edge because the way this is the same size. So I'm going to hold that down and I'll do the same thing for all the other pieces. Okay guys, so I have my pieces here. I have my box. Um, like I said, I was going to add this into the center just to have that. But we have other cuts that we can put in there. We have For You, um, this little sweetie that uh, is a little bit smaller so it'll have more of a uh, background look to it. And then Enjoy. And then of course all the other little extras that we can add for like 3D dimension. Uh, let me just add this on here. So I take a little break because I was helping my daughter and that's why my sleeves have changed. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, changed my clothes. Um, and I was reflecting on this and you know what? I was thinking, oh, you know, I'm so silly because uh, there's a few things we can do differently or a couple of things that we can do with this. So, you know, at the beginning I cut this off so that we could just have the one tab coming over but literally you don't have to cut the whole thing off you can just take this piece right so what I would do is just kind of bend this back and only snip this middle piece off because we only need one of the clasp and that way you still have this um, section of it right and I would just have run it through with both dies just to get that decorative piece so I think what I'm gonna do just so I can have a nice picture I'm gonna run this through uh, on its own with this and I could have gone back and redone the whole thing but that wouldn't be true to my channel right so I wanted to show you how I did it and now that I think about it I'm gonna run this back through tape it down I'll have this decorative piece and then I'm just gonna um, glue it here just so that it looks you know like I should have done it. <laughs> okay, so I went and cut the whole thing off, but if you just cut that little middle piece off, um, you'll still have this other decorative piece that would still be here looking nice, okay? So just wanted to give you that uh, heads up. And so what I'm gonna do now is just adhere these. And let me see, where's the other one? Um, that is looking so pretty and so glamorous. So what I'm gonna do is adhere these and I probably will go ahead and do these side uh, pieces too because they look so gorgeous. Uh, we Again, we have these other pieces here that you could just um, die cut and then pop them in here in these areas if you like, but I'm gonna leave that alone. So I think I'm gonna do all the side edges, the front and the back and the sides and, um, and I'll have that ready for you also. Let me just glue this down. And I'm gonna use a wet glue. Again, whatever glue you like to use be my guest and I'm just kind of eyeballing this to center it top down side to side and I'll do the same thing for all of them so I'll glue this one down the same way and I'll be back oh my goodness you guys this is 
just amazing. So I am going to add the side pieces, but I want you to see how it looks, you know, without that decoration, if you want to do a little more simple, especially because my pattern, no, my paper is already patterned. Um, and then I cut out this little thanks down here because I had mentioned I would cut that out just to make sure we knew what it said. And it says thanks. So I might add this here, you know, pop it up with a little bit of a dimensionals. But yeah, so thank you so much, um, Tonic, for saying uh, this for my review, for sponsoring this video. You guys, uh, the link will be in the description box. You guys know whenever uh, the Design Shorts comes out, it pretty much sells out really quickly. So if it's something you're interested in, I would uh, go there, you know, quicker rather than not. But thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you like my little tip. And remember not to cut that whole thing off if you don't want to. But I did add it back on there. So it looks a little more decorative, a little more finished on the top there. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.